Virgos, hey y'all, hey, welcome to your daily message. This is your girl, Empress Meek. Let's go ahead and dive in, y'all. I got your pre-shuffle here. I want to go over it with you guys. I got our sage, okay? We definitely might need the sage for this one because it came out hot, okay? This reading is starting off hot. Now, with this third party energy, the question is, why won't they just be honest with them? That's what I got. Why won't they just be honest with them? I feel like somebody is kind of jealous of you or because they don't know who you are. They're trying to figure out who you are. Somebody here knows that their person is dealing with someone on the side and they are upset about it. You might not even know that this person has somebody, but there is somebody here in a third party relationship. The question is, how can you compete when you don't compare? Somebody is trying to compete with you. Really, they can't compare to you. They really don't compare to you. And also this person, whoever this is with this third party energy that is trapped in a relationship and they have these unhealthy relationship patterns, they don't deserve you. Not only does that person not compare to you and honestly, that's their personal problem. Like why should they have their cake and eat it too? And then you have to go without. This is for somebody else. Many of you are resonating with this reading because the energy is so strong. Like, I honestly am seeing this person, like, grill your person, asking questions, wanting to know what's going on. It's constantly a battle, always fighting, always fussing. And this person, it's like they can't resort to anything else but trying to attack them about you and this relationship, whatever this relationship is between you and their person. Somebody definitely is jealous and upset. Like, this person doesn't know what to do to get their person back. They're trying to regain control of their relationship, but they've let you in. Like I said, for some of you guys, you don't even know that you're dealing with this person. Let me go ahead and say, say the rest of my introduction, y'all. This reading is going to resonate with anybody who has Virgo placements, y'all. It could be Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, or in Venus and North Node. I'm sorry. But, well, my apologies, okay? But, um, guys, thank you for your love and support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you for everybody who has been selling out. Y'all keep selling out my tarot deck. I thank you so, so much. Thank you for booking your readings with me. I finally got caught up with my readings. If you're waiting for your reading, it is uploading. Now I'm uploading like five of them. All right, guys, I um, added the personal reading tab onto Etsy now. So there's already the questions. If you want two questions answered, that's on there. If you want... um three questions answered that's on there and then now i added the full reading tab so you can book your personal readings on etsy again i had taken them off for a while but now i put them back on there um for those of you who can't access my website all right so um if you can't access the website at closer the number to my destiny.com to book or make your purchases you can email me at closer the number to my destiny the number one at gmail.com or you can just um, go on Etsy to book your reading if you can't get through on my website, okay? Thank you, guys. I love you. It's more beneficial to me if you book it on my website. Um, but if you can't, I understand. And you can just go to Etsy either way. Um, as long as you get your reading and your guidance that you need, it's good with me. I'm also, along with getting that new tarot deck that I have um, coming up, guys, we should get it next week. I'm going to start doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you're interested in doing a one-on-one -on -one with me, um, email me at closer the number to my destiny, the number one at gmail.com and let me know that you're interested. Okay. Let's get back to this tea. Okay. I'm going to say our prayer in a minute after I um, finish this. Let's get to it. So we also have, um, a refusing to accept the reality of this connection that came out for you guys again. So I honestly feel like the reality of this is somebody is holding on to your person um, and I feel like for many of you, they could have told you this and you might not believe them. We're going to find out when the tarot comes out, how honest this person is with you. We're also going to find out a little bit more about the feelings that's behind all this. Like, I want to see how you feel and how they feel. Um, but right now, this is the situation. All right. And then confined, feeling trapped in this connection. You guys could feel trapped in this connection because you started getting feelings for this person. This person is going through hell. Okay. Okay. This third party constantly asks them questions about who you are. They're trying to figure it out. They're on their page, scrolling all through, scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Like they're really trying to find out what's going on. Somebody shares phones with somebody. Like they have their own phone, but 
their third party can look at their phone records. So this person is just, we've all experienced heartbreak before. This person, many of us have. This person is going through the motions, all right? They're heartbroken that they're losing this person, all right? Your person. They're losing them. The third party is losing them and they're hurt about it. But the thing is, your person, like, they're missing you a lot, Virgo. They are. They are. And I don't even like reading third party energy but it's out here and i'm just gonna be honest with you about what i see do i condone it hell no like you're number one put your hands down i don't care if their relationship not working or not this person could be have their own house as long as they still have an attachment to somebody an emotional attachment or financial attachment they're not single in my eyes and they're not available to give you all you need so the answer would be no okay but you're grown and everybody has their own time to learn their own things. Divine timing is at work in your life with this situation and in your love life. Um, everything will work when the universe sees fit. So some of you are wondering, like, when am I going to get my person? When are things going to change? And it's going to happen sooner than you think. All right. But it's going to happen in divine timing when you're ready. All right. I love this card. This is a beautiful card because it gives you hope and it lets you know that there is sunshine after the rain. You know, things may seem a little dark and gloomy, but your angels are watching. The divine is watching always. And pretty soon everything will make sense. But in the meantime, in between time, learn these lessons so you can manifest the life that you deserve and desire. Right? So yeah, this person is missing you. They're feeling trapped. They're feeling confined. You feel trapped. You feel like you're obligated now at this point to be a part of this person's situation, but really like they shouldn't have let you in. They should have handled this. And you know, you just got to cut your losses sometimes when you already made choices, but let's go ahead and tap into the energy. We're going to go a little bit deeper. Let's see what spirit wants you to know about this energy. I'm also told to some of y'all are saying, uh, uh, and for some single, I don't deal with nobody. All right. This could be past energy, but hang on for the ride. Y'all Um, just continue to watch and see. How much of this you might resonate with is always something in my readings that can help you elevate, okay? So, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Thank you guys for your donations, too. I've gotten a few donations, and I thank you guys so much. Y'all really love me, and I love you guys right back. I appreciate everybody who shares our videos, right? Thank you so much, guys. And I appreciate everybody who watches to the end and who makes sure they hit the like button. Even if y'all got to log on the like, baby. Do what you got to do for your girl because I'm always going to show up for you, period, all right? Look, sometimes I, I struggle with the timing and things like that. I might even struggle with the title or two, but trust and believe. I'm going to find a way to put my Virgo reading out, and I'm trying to do the same on my other channel. I just, I got to be ready. It got to be right. Y'all know how Virgos are. Look, you know I'm a Virgo, 9-2 all day, baby, and it got to be right. If it's not right, then it's just not it. Okay, that's how I feel about it. All right, so let's see. Um, Rejection. It says this rejection is actually divine protection. So you could be feeling rejected in a relationship. Some of you guys could be experiencing changes in your relationship with these unhealthy relationship patterns. It's something here that's happening in your life and it's not a loss, it's a win. I really feel like um this person is trying their best to not get you caught up in a big mess. But... Your feelings are involved. You really, I feel like some of you even feel like this is your person, even though they're attached. And I mean, we can go on and on all day about how this thing works, but you have to learn. The divine is waiting for you to get these lessons and learn. So you got to go through it. Sometimes the only way to it is through it, right? So let's see. What else? Avoiding, um, avoiding, avoiding, refusing to see the reality of this connection. Firm boundaries are needed at this time. Right now, the divine is encouraging you to set firm boundaries when it comes to this person in this relationship. Somebody is just not worth it. They're not worth the energy and the time. And I hate to say that, but it's true. I'm going to keep it real with you because I can't stand for a good person to look stupid. I cannot. I can't stand for somebody to be able to take advantage of a good person. All right. I don't like that. Let's see. Third party. This don't even belong in there. So somebody is married. This doesn't even belong in there. So 
somebody feels the energy of past life love, okay? Somebody would love, like another thing that you love about them is you can be completely open with this person and honest about how you feel. However, that doesn't mean that they're your person or they're meant for you. And with this past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection, yes. But why are you repeating it? You're repeating it because it's a lesson that you need to learn from this person, all right? And if it was something that was divine and you guys belong together, then somebody failed to make sure that they're making the right choices and to be available for you. You know, it's things that they are held up on, on their path that they're still experiencing, right? A leap of faith. Everything will work when the universe sees fit. It's safe for you to consider the move you're consider um, to make the move you're considering. So whatever move it is you're considering to make with this relationship, so, um, many of you are thinking about leaving this person in the pet, like leaving them alone, like leaving them in the dust. Like for a lot of you, I mean, I feel like you already know that this is a burden. Missing you, longing to be with you again. Somebody really does want your company. They want to talk to you. Um, but this is telling you to detach with love to clearly see the truth because honestly, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because this person not available to give you what you need. So it's always going to be a one-sided situation. It's always going to be lack here. You're always going to be missing out on something that you truly do deserve. The birds are just talking. All right. They really are talking. Children could be important to this relationship. So this person could be sticking around because they have children. Children are involved or one of you guys could be pregnant by this person that's in this situation. They're married. Dang, y'all. Some, some of y'all just, y'all love watching me. I think y'all like my voice or something because I'm not going to lie. It's some people out there that don't listen to a word I say. Like they listen, but they're not applying it. And that's the biggest thing, y'all. Do you apply it to your life? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. All right. It's all love, of course. But God wants you to examine yourself, right? Does this situation align with your values and morals? That is the question here. Does it? Sometimes you got to just pause and really think about what you're doing and where is it going? Unavailable. This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. This is the cold hard truth about this connection. Many of you aren't ready to hear that, but listen, you got to be honest. You got to be honest with yourself about things. This is the only way you grow for real. And y'all know that. This is not your first rodeo. You already know about this energy. You already know when somebody is playing games. You already know when it's time for you to move on and seek something more, right? My bad, y'all, for my big old arm in the screen. Well, it's not that big. I actually got nice arms. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that beautiful brown skin okay let's get into it show me the rejection why is the rejection here for my virgos with this toxic unhealthy relationship patterns these toxic patterns there's rejection here i don't know why i picked up these cards i guess i'm supposed to use these i don't really want to use these but let's see I don't. Somebody is playing chess, not checkers. Okay, I'm hearing chess. It's chess, not checkers. <laughs> That's what it's saying. It's chess, not checkers. Knight of coins. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection from this Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. Or their um, spirit is talking about you. You deserve somebody dedicated. You deserve somebody reliable. You deserve somebody trustworthy. Something that, um, somebody that you can grow with or count on or something of that nature. But the Knight of Pentacles, whoever's dealing with the Knight of Pentacles and there's rejection there is for a reason. This person is un has a lot of unhealthy patterns, a lifestyle that is unhealthy and it doesn't match with you. And this person is definitely really involved in this situation. Like they're invested. All right boundaries all right but this person is saying that you make them emotionally happy with the ten of cups they're open for emotional fulfillment and passion but they're not really open to build and grow anything with you they're not ready to be in a relationship they're already in one this is reminding me that you need to use your intuition and really look deeper into the situation and see what you're not seeing see it with your emotions with your intuition right yeah Judgment is here. Divine judgment is at play in this situation. Here it is right here. 
divine timing. It's time for you to make a leap of faith. Like, it's a tough decision that you're trying to decide on and you need to do it. Some of you guys are like, I, sh I know I should walk away. I know I deserve better. You really do. All right. And this judgment is indicating that there can, there is going to be a consequence for every action. All right. There will be good or bad. Well, a consequence or something is going to happen from just dealing with this person alone is creating you more karma. And you don't deserve that. You just don't. All right. We have balance. Um, making amends, union, um, rebirth and fairness, being fair about this situation, doing the right thing, um, a fair judgment on your behalf with this judgment card for this divine timing. Show me boundaries, I'm refusing to accept the reality of this connection. Dang, here go this person from the past or just this person selling you dreams with the six of cups is cups, but they're not filled. There's only one full cup and I feel like it's yours. And these two are empty. Like the rest of these cups are empty. So this is three and this is two. And here's one that is full. So I feel like it's like a bunch of empty promises and firm boundaries are needed. Like this person is full of crap. Honestly, that's what's coming out. Show me more. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, refusing to see the reality that there's three. Three is a crowd. Like this person doesn't have what it takes to be with you. Like they can't give you what you need again. And that's what I just keep getting about this energy. Um, there is somebody else involved. And this is why this person is coming off emotionally unavailable. The seven of coins came out and it fell right on the judgment. Um, you deserve an equal give and take, give and receiving, generosity and charity, right? I mean, this is the six of coins. So this is blessings. Everything is going to happen in divine time and blessings and judgment. So this is a yes card. This is you being able to recover. This is you being able to recuperate. So whatever is happening in your life that may feel like a loss or may feel like a waste, you're going to get, you're going to recoup. But you have to make the leap, take the leap of faith and walk away from something here or just disconnect your energy from it or something of that nature. Show me um, denial. Somebody is missing you. Wow. Somebody is missing you. Somebody is missing you. Let's see what this is. The King of Swords. All right. This is clarity. Clarity about what you need to know regarding this connection. Somebody could be dealing with a... Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. All right, but this is also standing for the truth and being authentic, right? Being real about a situation. All right, so there's a need for you to be real about a situation um, and really try to find clarity here. It's, it's telling you to detach with love so you can really see the truth. Maybe you just need to spend some time on your own. All right, just away from this person, out of this energy, so you can really get a grip on reality, the reality of this situation, okay? Sorry, y'all, I'm using a different camera, so bear with me. My other one is uploading videos, so I couldn't use that. So this is a little different. Um, Show me past, give me one more of this King of Swords energy toward Virgo. What's going on with this King of Swords energy toward Virgo? This could even be you, Virgo. Um, It could be telling you, to use the use your inner wisdom um be real about this situation take authority of the situation and do the right thing yeah choosing wisely um making wiser choices when it comes to what you need to cut out of your life with this king of swords energy but this is basically telling you to be truthful with yourself about this and it's time for you to be strong and in this resilient energy um, with the Empress telling you to take charge, clear out what you need to clear out. Don't be in denial. Detach with love and see the truth about this. Somebody could be missing your energy. Um, however, that doesn't mean that they're good for you. All right. With the Seven of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Emperor. All right. Beware of illusions. Cut out what you need to cut out and take charge and control over your life. Um, this is you walking in your power. This is safety. All right. This is a realization. All right. Paying attention to the facts. Somebody could even be dealing with an Aries or a father figure here. Past life love. 
Mm. So this third party that they're dealing with feels left out in the cold. They do. They feel like they're losing their person and they feel like they're losing their person to you. Like they really do. Um, it's a lot of lack in this relationship because they both have very unhealthy, toxic habits and it's just not working. So this person, this third party is clarified by the five of pentacles. They feel left out. They're doing their best to be strong. Um, they're being courageous. All right. Somebody is like you, you could feel left out in the cold too, because you're stuck waiting for this person while they go and deal with this third party that they have at home. I mean, it's not fair. With the Ace of Swords here, this third party feels like this person is not talking to them about what's really going on. They're seeking the truth about this connection between you and them. Somebody wants to know the truth. Okay, this is what I'm getting. And integrity. It's like you need to value yourself more. This is what the universe wants to see. All right. It's a reminder. Does this situation align with your morals and your values? This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. So this is wake, trying to give you an eye opener here. Pay attention. Confine to this relationship so you can feel stuck. Right. But you're not getting everything that you deserve. Somebody is not able to give it to you. This person is sick of feeling left out in the cold by you. Two of Wands, time for you to make a decision. This is you deciding to move away from this energy and move toward what you deserve. It's the time to make some plans for the future. All right? You're going to start discovering that you deserve better. Things are about to be highlighted in different ways now. Like you're about to start seeing this person in a different light, seeing this situation in a different light, even seeing yourself um, differently. All right, where you, you're you going to really start demanding what you deserve and not everybody is going to be able to sit with you, period. Like they're not going to be able to get close to you, right? So this is what the universe wants and weight is here. Taking a risk, you may need to wait. Don't make any hasty decisions and don't continue to feel stuck and overthink things. It may be time for you to accept the fact that it's time for you to move on. With this devil energy, this could have something to do with the Capricorn. This could also have something to do with your shadow self. You could be with this person because the sex is good. Or this person is with you for sex. Or this is what they're seeking. But it's a need for you to dig a little bit deeper. To really look at this situation and be real. Your integrity is at stake for somebody. Does this line up with what you believe? That's what the question is for you. Yeah. Time for you to contemplate. You could be in this energy of contemplation, but you're being told to reevaluate this situation because it's toxic. With the devil in the four of cups. All right. And it's like the sooner you do that, the better. Where you can start really investing in yourself and not continue to invest in a situation that doesn't serve you. And then with the wheel of fortune, this is when everything starts turning in your favor. All right, so there's a need for you to look a little bit deeper. Um, it's funny how this came out with this third party feeling left out in the cold, grilling your person about you, trying to find out more about this. But while you're on the other end, they're somewhere fighting and battling about you and this relationship. This person's demanding answers, right, about this person. What's the Ace of Swords? Yeah, it's like somebody's intuition. Somebody's intuition is telling them, like, it's more to the story. Divine law is here and mystery with the high priestess, the keeper of secrets. Somebody knows, like, this person is keeping secrets. They know it. And with the five of cups, it's making somebody in regret. Somebody feels like a failure. Somebody feels like deep hurt and pain because of what's happening here. Wow. Wow. Somebody could definitely be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords. Painful end, deep wound, a loss. Somebody's feeling that way about this, whatever they found out. Mm. Well, we got the star under the bottom of the deck, my love. So this definitely could be you healing and walking away from the situation and finding a situation that fits you better, like actually staying on your path, not being distracted by this person and doing what serves you best, okay? 
with this star energy. All right, my love. So this is your reading. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Like this is just the first one that I got. Um, so I'm going to do one more about you and your person or whatever the energy is that needs to come out. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. I don't even know that I said a prayer, but if you want the prayer, I already, I already pray off camera though. But if I didn't fully say your prayer, you can check the video that I posted previously. Um, one of those videos will have a prayer on there for you if you definitely want to hear a prayer. All right. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for being here with me. I appreciate your love and support. Hold on y'all. Something said, give you a card for your higher good. So let's see what you need to know for your higher good as we close out your reading. I always like to give give something that everybody can resonate with. So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel for Virgo's highest good. What is the energy for Virgo's highest good? What does Virgo need to know regarding this situation for their highest good? Ooh, y'all. Your vibe is a gift. You need to protect your energy. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Do not force solutions is overall, right? This is saying not everything can be fixed. Such times you have to let it die and let there be a new beginning. Okay, not everything can be fixed. Then we have auric field. Your vibe is a gift. It's time for you to clear your auric field and protect it. Purify and restore your energy. Okay, that's what the card is telling you to do. That's This card is beautiful. And then... Um, we have the unseen. So it's telling you that things are not always as they appear. Be thorough and keep your eyes open. There's something you're not seeing. Gosh. And then in alignment, everything is aligning perfectly in your life. What didn't make sense in the past will now start to fall into place. All right, my loves, this is your reading. Thank you for being here with me. Sending you love, light, and positive energy. If you want to book a reading, you can... Listen to what I was saying in the beginning of the video. I told you all the instructions on how to book your reading. All right. Or look in the description box. Thank you guys. I love you. And I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, my loves.